he or she needs to stay with Muhammad Ali Muhammad Salam in this world. He or she must to follow the footsteps of Muhammad Ali Muhammad Allah Salam. So last week we discussed different ministers of Iblis who are working with him and every morning and every evening they are having their meetings and different ministers are reporting to the Iblis what kind of successes they got during the day and then they plan for night or for the next day. We discuss first minister that was Walha and that is usually to create doubts in the minds about the good deeds. Usually people are having doubts in their wuzu, people are having doubts in their namaz, this is first rakah, second rakah, whether that was wrong or right. When they are going inside that, at that time different kinds of doubts are coming. The second one was hafaf, and usually he has to scare the people, especially at nights and in the deserts or when people are alone, maybe in their house and in their room. So different kinds of whispering they are sending uh, to scare the people from different things. The third one was the Lanbur and he is appointed for uh, the businessmen and the people who are in the uh, markets or the shops and usually they are lying to sell their products. So Islam promotes the people should work, people should do the business but with honesty the simple thing is anyone who would like to do business so he can fix the price. Anyone who would like will buy and then there is no need uh, to say different kinds of lies just to sell something or just to make one or two or ten pound profit. Uh, if ten pound profit is coming with ten lies, then that does, that does not work. As a Muslim, we should stay with We should stay with the truthful people and we should also apply truth in our life, in our business, in our jobs. The next minister that is Thabar and this minister uh, usually when there is any problem, any calamity, any death so people are doing a lot of jala or faza, they are crying, they are tearing their dress or they are hitting themselves so usually this kind of whispering is coming from this uh, shaitan and the fifth one was Abiyaz this Abiyaz he is uh, giving different kind of whisperings to uh, Ambiya, to Salihin, to good people and especially he is provoking the anger among the people, among the family members, among husband and wife, sisters, brother, community members so that they should have quarrels and fights with each other. The sixth one that is our this Iblis or this Shaitan is appointed to provoke lusty desires or to or mardume shahwat ko badhata hai so with lusty desires so usually people are going to commit adultery and different things and adultery then involving many people and anyone who is involved in adultery then usually he is not or she is not having good name among the society as well as among the people he or she has not good name at the same time among angels and next to Muhammad Ali 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 Muhammad Due to his worship, due to his ibadat, he became mustajab al-da'wat. Whatever he was asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was providing his dua or accepting his dua. Once a girl became sick and whatever the treatment was available, they done. But she did not she was not cured and ultimately someone told them, told the brothers 
Now why not you should visit this Barsisa? His name was Barsisa and he was on the top of a mountain, he was worshipping over there. So when this guy with brothers came to this person, so then Shaitan came, this hour came to him and told him, tell them they should leave this girl here and he will do worship and he will do du'a and he will do the treatment. So this was the first motivation for Barsisa and when the brothers went at night when they were alone, then again Iblis came and inspired him to commit adultery. After doing that she became pregnant and then Iblis came and he again whispered, so now she is pregnant and when she will give birth to the baby. So then people will come against you and they will allege you, you have done this. Then Shaitan whispered him, why not you have to kill this girl and bury her at night so that nobody should know what happened. And when her brothers will come, so you can tell that she has gone. I don't know where she is. So on one side, this hour was whispering him to do all this, these things. And when he killed that girl and buried, then this hour went to the brothers of that girl and told them in the, in the form, in the shape of a person and told them, do you know what happened with your sister? That Basisa Abed has killed your sister after committing adultery. So then they came and they dug the soil and then they took out the dead body and ultimately they went to the uh, king of the time <coughs> to decide what to do or what kind of punishment he won to give that person Barsisa ultimately because he killed that person and committed adultery the king uh, sentenced him for death and when people were hanging him at that time again this hour came and he said if you ask me I can protect you I can save you from this hanging and he said, what should I do? He said, instead of saying, La ilaha illallah, say, La ilaha illallah, Iblis. And what he said, at that time, people hanged him, and the person who worshipped for many, many years, his end of his life was without Iman. So we, we need to be very, very careful. So these Iblis, these Shayateen are working against us. They are trying to remove our Iman and our end should be without Iman. So these Shaitan are working in a lot of work every day, every day, every day. So we need to try that whatever is coming out of our mind, we need to think and understand what this is coming out of our mind. So we need to make sure that our prayer is also finished, our prayer is finished, اور آخر کار ہمارے جب موت ہو تو وہ بھی ایمان کی حالت پر نہ ہو so we need to be careful and especially this شیطان آور he is appointed for these things to provoke the lusty desires among ladies and the gents and to commit adultery and different kinds of sins the next شیطان the next minister his name is داسم داسم duty is in the houses. The people are living in the houses and he is also living with them. Anyone who is coming and entering in the house without saying salam, so when someone says salam and then enters into the house, at that time this Iblis, this Dasim cannot enter in that house. If someone is going inside the house without saying salam, so then this is also going with the person, maybe woman, maybe man, and then when Dasim is inside the house, usually there are arguments and the 
quarrels among husband and wife and family members inside the house. The best way to protect is whenever we are entering into the house, whether somebody is there or not, we have to say loudly, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And again, when people are eating in the houses without saying Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, so then this gossip is also partner of the food and that food then has not good effects on our spirituality and our body. So with that food we can have different physical diseases as well as spiritual uh, diseases. So the one way to be protected from this dasim, uh, we can say this dasim dasim a'udhu billahi minho. Dasim dasim a'udhu billahi minho. Allah give me shelter or protect me from the shah of Dasim. The next minister, his name is Matrash. Matrash, what is his duty? He is spreading the lies or uh, news which, which, which has no reality. Different kinds of news, for example, different kinds of allegations or different kinds of news is transferring from one person to the other person. Someone was saying this, someone was saying this, someone has done this. Actually, there is no reality. So that's why in Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, whenever any person is bringing any kind of news to you, then he, what is your duty? You have to do research about that news, whether that is right or wrong, is there any reality or not, and what is the source of that news? So nowadays we are getting different kinds of text messages. And sometimes we are, when we are going, what is the source or what is the reality actually, uh, that thing, whether that has gone or maybe there is no reality at all. So whenever any kind of news from any source, maybe email, maybe text, maybe from face-to-face -face words people are saying, especially that news that is against a, a moment brother or sister, or maybe against some cousin or family brothers, we need to be patient, we need to be tolerant, and we need to do research with patience whether that is right or wrong. And once we know if that is right news, that is, that is the reality, then does, that does not mean we must be angry and we have to create a quarrel. No. Then we need how, if that is the right news, then how we can resolve that problem or how we can change his or her mind why he or she was thinking like this for me. The next minister, his name is Kanzar and he is appointed on different persons, especially different kind of uh, musical instruments he is providing or spreading among the people and when people are friendly with music then automatically he is extracting one kind of character from the mankind and that is called zeal that is ghayat so this kangar his duty is on the persons to scratch out the virtue of ghayat from the people when people are not having zeal for his relatives, wives, sisters, brothers, you know why? We are very, we are having very, very great ghairat, but when our sisters and daughters, they are not having hijab, we are silent, we are not saying anything. What is the reason? Hum kyo masin jab guna ho rahe hote hamare aage hamare बहने बच्चे बीवियां ये काम करते हैं हम चुप रहते हैं हिजाब नहीं करते हम कुछ नहीं कहते क्योंकि अमर बिल मारूफ के मुफ्तल दर्जे हैं या तो हाथ से इंसान रोके या जुबान से रोके या कम से कम दिल से बुरा जाने और इसको हम मुसलसल करते रहना चाहिए कभी ना कभी तो असर जरूर होता है लेकिन इस शैतान के क्या है कंजर की यह जिम्मेदारी है कि वो लोगों से गैरत को निकाल लेता है और फिर उनके लिए कोई असर नहीं होता so this is our duty when we are guardian, when we are elder of the family, at that time 
we need to control different people who are under our custody. The next uh, shaitan, his name is Bahar, and this minister, he is appointed uh, to give different kinds of problems and pains and difficulties to the Mu'mineen, especially in the dreams. You know, <coughs> people are having different kinds of dreams. Ab khabu mein insan jo hai, mukhtalif kisam ke drawne khab dekhta hai. So these dreams, square dreams, these are coming from this kind of Iblis and even ladies they are having different kinds of dreams, gents they are having different kinds of dreams. So different kinds of bad dreams, usually these are also coming from shayateen. So we should not be very very concerned for each and every dream. Most of the dreams are dreams of shayateen. So if we sleep with wuzu, if we eat a few hours before sleep, and if we have evacuated urine and stools before sleeping, and we are sleeping with wuzu and reading alhamdulillah and qul, inshallah we will not have these kind of dreams. But we are when, one, when we are not careful for all these things, we are not doing all these things, usually we are having different kinds of bad dreams, or square dreams, or dreams which are again creating different kinds of arguments and quarrels among family members. Usually the origin of these dream is from a place. So we need to be uh, more careful and we need to purify ourselves so that we should be protected from this kind of dream. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> The great personality who is model of akhlaq and taqwa for us, that is Holy Prophet Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Once, which was the Sunnah of our Prophet, what he was doing. So usually he was uh, washing his uh, hairs of his head, or with lotus tree or uh, sid 
uh, he was always washing over that material. The next thing, whenever he was coming out, always he was combing his hair, and especially he was using water uh, to make straight his hair. Uh, and he said, this using water is good to make uh, your hairs with beautiful fragrance and he was also cutting his nails especially on Friday and he was digging the soil and putting the uh, nails uh, in nail and especially the hairs when he was cutting his hairs and blood so he was digging the soil and putting into the soil and he also used uh, khizab that different kind of dyes, maybe hina or maybe other colors. So he was using this as Sunnah of Rasulullah, oh. and he was using different kind of oil to do massage of his body, especially Rohan and Banafsha. He was using and uh, extra hairs, uh, armpit or the other, especially when the boys they are becoming balik. So there are different uh, growth of different kinds of hair and this was also Sunnah of the Prophet and he also highly recommended to remove uh, these hairs uh, regularly and then he was also using Surma so you know what is Surma every night he was using Surma in his eyes and especially he was doing miswak on many times a day and this is a Sunnah which is also uh, uh, highly recommended by Rasulullah and other Ayyumatara This is good for our teeth, this is good for our hygiene. At the same time, it is good when we are going to the mosque and we, uh, getting ready for wudu at that time, we have to do miswa. This is Sunnah of Rasulullah as well. So, his budget, even he was spending more budget on his perfumes, sprays and perfumes. He, spent, he was spending more budget on sprays and food as compared to his food. So that is the Sunnah of Rasulullah. And whenever he was coming out from his house from a long distance, he himself had a fragrance from his body, uh, especially when you read the Hadith Kisa. So special fragrance came from different bodies. So he himself had a uh, good fragrance from his body, but at the same time he was using different kind of perfumes. Uh, so this is Sunnah of Rasulullah. And after doing wudu, he had uh, uh, something uh, like musk. So when his hands were wet, so he, with wet hands, he was touching uh, uh, some, some uh, part of musk. Uh, and that was also uh, giving a beautiful fragrance uh, from his body and from his hands. And, and again, his, this is a sunnah uh, to cut uh, mustaches or uh, making it uh, uh, beautiful uh, on every Friday or whenever that is needed. And this is sunnah of different prophets. And this is also good you are respecting in the different angels who are with you to write down so this is showing a kind of respect to, to them as well and uh, there is uh, another uh, aloes wood or uh, balsam uh, that is usually in Makkah uh, and uh, when you people are burning that wood that is called oud so this after burning of that oud or uh, aloes uh, wood so the mm, smoke that comes out, uh, the, the, with the smoke there is a beautiful fragrance as well and Prophet was also doing all these things. So there are, these are different tears, so Prophet was using, why not we have to follow our Prophet at the same time, there are many other benefits as well. So inshallah every day from 5 to 7, every Sunday, uh, 5 to 7, uh, we are planning to have a uh, youth chat, chat class, uh, so there will be different items, uh, especially whatever they will recommend we will start. But uh, at the same time, uh, especially those youth who are not good in the recitation of Quran, so half an hour we will fix all that, and rest of the time that will be, we will discuss uh, with question and answer on different topics. Every Sunday 5 to 7, so please uh, send your youth uh, to get maximum benefit from uh, these classes. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Inna atwinaka al-Qawsar Fasalli li-Rabbika wa anhar inna shani atahu wa al-Abda La